Today, I'm gonna to teach you five tips to make your product commercials more cinematic. Trick one, use string for movement. By attaching fishing line to your products, you can create energetic movements for your videos. For this shot, I wanted to create a unique, powerful movement. I wanted to have the product slide in and spin instead of just slide. The way I did that is I drilled a hole in the bottom of the product and then attached a bolt to the bottom of the product. From there, I would wrap the string and then I'd pull like a yo-yo and what would happen is the product would slide out of frame and spin at the same time. In post, all you have to do is reverse the shot and you get something like this. Trick two, use a stick. By using a stick and attaching it to your product, you can create vertical movement, which is opposite of how we are using the string to create horizontal movement. Drilling a hole into our base allows us to control the stick and our product from down here. What I can do with that is create a puppet movement like this so that our product spins, lands like a superhero. You can do it by hand or get a little bit more complex like us where we attached a head to a drill bit and then slide this in so we could time exactly how we wanted to spin our shot. For the camera, what I'm doing is we've actually attached the slider to our jib. And the reason for this is so we can do up and down and pull away from our product. Now you don't have to do it this complicated. You can shoot it in 4K and just move back and forth and up and down in post. With a little bit of timing, you can get a shot like this. Trick three, use water. Water is a great way to bring energy to your shot. And there's so many ways to use it. For this shot, we're using a drill and a slider to pop up our product like this. And that's gonna create the motion that we've already showed you before. But now, with the water, we can get an awesome shot. For the water shots, I'm utilizing a slow-mo camera. Well, it's not actually slow-mo, but this is an Ursa G2, and I'm shooting at 300 frames, 1080p crop sensor, and I'm using the Genosis 32 millimeter lens, which is a macro, super prime for this shot. From here, I am holding a balloon and using a razor blade to pop it, which drops the water. At the same time, I have Alex pushing up with a slider. Make sure you have a good friend that doesn't mind getting away. And in the end, you can get some shots that look like this. This tutorial is brought to you by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is my go-to for amazing content, templates, images, and even stock footage. You can access over a million royalty-free files for your next project. Storyblocks not only makes my projects easier, but it allows me to up-level my videos by adding in high-quality content that I don't have the time or access to capture myself. Are you looking for amazing sound effects for your next video? Storyblocks has you covered. Do you need a drone shot of the woods? You can get it on Storyblocks. Do you want to find a beautiful image to make your website pop? Then look no further. Storyblocks is an extremely powerful website because it gives us content creators access to so many different files and top quality content. Whether you're a content creator, filmmaker, website designer, or any kind of creative space, Storyblocks is perfect for you. So go check out Storyblocks and visit the link below in the description, storyblocks.com slash Austin Paul. Trick three, use your slider and product spinner, and I'll show you how. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put our slider over here and set up our product standing tall using a stick. This is one of my favorite ways to get energy in a shot. We've drilled a hole into our product yet again, and we're using a barbecue skewer to hold the product up and then connecting it to our head one for it to spin. But that's not all to give this shot a lot of energy. Next, we have our camera on our slider, but I don't have the slider stationary. And where I see a lot of people make some mistakes to get that energy is first, they keep their camera just on a tripod to get a stationary shot. And then I also don't have my slider at the regular angles. By playing with it like this and keeping my product in the center of the screen while I'm moving the slider, will create a lot more unique and energetic shots, similar to my five slider tips and tricks video that you can check out here. One last thing that we can do to add a little bit more energy is actually use our products itself. Depending on the products that you have, you can use something like these to give a cool mist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the camera in really fast. We're gonna have the can rotate forwards and right when it rotates forward, I'm gonna have Alex go and shoot a cool mist. We're gonna shoot that at 120 frames 
And that's three different things that we're using to bring energy into the shot. We have the tripod and slider. We have the rotating of the product. We have action with water and mist. This is all creating movement and energy. And then we speed ramp it and we can get something that looks like this. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Next trick is we're using light to create energy. And the way that we're doing that is we have a projector back here that's making a straight beam on the bottom of our board. Then with these two boards right here, I can separate them to shape our light and have it grow across our shot. The trick is you just have to be nice and smooth with the movements and practice a few times to have it separate like so. But in camera, it looks like elevator doors almost are opening as the light beam grows onto our background. What we're doing here is I have the product actually raised off the ground so that this blue light is not hitting the product at all and casting a weird shadow. Otherwise, we have the product on a rod and it's connected to the spinner. So we're gonna have the product spin. Once it lands face up, boom. All the lights start to turn on, everything starts to happen, and it's gonna look like this. For this shot, I'm using light again to create a really cool technique. And what I'm doing is I've attached two Cyrus bendable light panels and I'm putting them on my 360 rig and I'm using the spray paint cans to create shadows around the shot. Now I'm attaching one light to the 360 rig and using the product itself to create the cool shadows like this. Last trick, physics and geometry. Everything that your teachers told you was true. So what we're doing now is we've tied a string to a balloon and we're gonna swing it behind our product. And right here, we're hiding a needle that's sticking out. So right when this swings, boom, an explosion of water comes right around our product. Now that we've got our shot, we're gonna do a clean frame of the same exact thing. We've removed the product. We're gonna do it, slide it in, and I'm gonna match those two shots so that it looks perfect and gets a shot like this. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna up-level your product videos, you can check out my product video course. It is in the link in the bio below, but it's productvideocourse.com. And you can start making money from home just like me and my tutorials that I teach on that course. And thank you so much for watching. I can't do it without you guys. So I really appreciate it. Until next time.